Decision. Hey, my boogies, Dave here, and right now I'm geeking out over Pistol Shrimp's radio. Dave's obsession. Dave's obsession of the moment. Pistol Shrimp's radio has very quickly become one of my favorite podcasts of all time. And while the basic premise is fairly simple to explain, the utter delight it provides is a little bit more difficult to convey in mere human words. But I'm going to try my best. Here's the backstory. The first thing you need to know, Los Angeles has a women's recreational basketball league, and one of the teams on this league is called the Pistol Shrimps. This team features a lot of players from the world of comedy, people like Maria Blasucci, Amanda Lund, and Aubrey Plaza. You're in a, uh, a women's basketball league? Yeah. Well, what is this? We're called the Pistol Shrimps. The Pistol Shrimps. And we, uh, we play in the, women, the LA Women's League. Um, that's me right there uh, giving the finger. Yeah. And, Very nice. Appreciate uh, that. We're a really serious basketball team. No, you're not. Yeah, we are. Second thing, Amanda Lund's boyfriend, now fiance, is comedian Matt Gorley, known for Drunk History, James Bonding, the Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project, I Was There Too, and of course, the phenomenal improv sketch group and podcast, Super Ego. And trust me, Super Ego will be discussed at length in a future video. One day, Matt invited his Super Ego colleague, Mark McConville, to attend a Pistol Shrimps game and record play-by-play -play commentary and release it as a podcast. Nobody asked them to do this. They didn't ask anybody if they were allowed to do this, and they weren't even remotely qualified to do this. I'm Matt Gorley. I have a master's degree in theater from Cal State University at Long Beach, so you know my word is gold. And I'm Mark McConville. I'm a huge sports fan, but have never played organized basketball. My terminology knowledge is limited, but I'm excited to be here. Don't worry, I've got your back. I don't know if I've ever seen a basketball game. As of this recording, Matt and Mark have released their play-by-play -play commentary on two complete seasons of Pistol Shrimps games, occasionally joined by special guests like Colin Hanks, Tig Notaro, and reigning mayor of podcastdom Paul F. Tompkins. The result is 22 of the most entertaining podcast episodes one could possibly want. We may be calling basketball, but we're also having a good time. Pistol Shrimps are still playing basketball here while we're just doing comedy jokes. <laughs> Jeff, if you're just joining us here on Pistol Shrimps and you're wondering, hey, I don't get this. Let me tell you something. Nothing to get. I know of some people who are reluctant to check this podcast out because they don't care about sports, but trust me, if you're not a fan of basketball, you'll fit right in. Stephanie Allen with the ball, number 19. She might be described as the point guard here, Matt. That's my understanding, after you just said it. If this is the first time you've listened to Pistol Shrimps Radio, we don't know shit about basketball, but we do know this. We like talking. Well, Matt, describe the action thus far. Well, a basketball game is being played. If you are a fan of basketball, I honestly don't know how you'll react. You might find it amusing, you might find it frustrating. Sorry, I saw some action and could not describe it. <laughs> Pistol Shrimps Baseball is not that sport it's basketball man i don't think you have his name right it's the coaches of the pistol shrimps as always are chris fanger and dj busy well i've been having issues with problems if you're familiar with super ego already you know what a knack matt and mark have for non sequitur train of thought collections of syllables that almost sound like they make sense it's uh, been hotter than a horseman's crank that's right, I'm more tired than a dead kid. Christmas just came a little early and said, hello, my name is Easter, let's celebrate all year long and take a four month break right after. Trick or treat, everyone. We're having ourselves a twilight struggle right here on Pistol Shrimps Radio. That's when Edward realizes no more Bella, but how about a little bit of Bruce the werewolf kid? What's his name? Well into my adulthood, I thought it was for all intensive purposes. I know you did, Mark, and that's part of why I'd like to draw a pentagram right smack dab in the middle of your forehead. Well, Matt, I just don't think it's a great thing to do to somebody. Ah, hell. But although they're not experts in basketball, they are experts at emulating the cadence of sports announcers, which sells everything they say just a little bit more. Well, Matt, it looks like each team is entirely subbing out here at the seven minute mark, giving our starters a rest. This is a time in basketball we call the great mulching. You know, zebras, their skin is striped, not just their fur. And I can't help but wondering if that's the same for our referees tonight. 
Well, Matt, I have my doubts about that. I'll tell you what, if I didn't know better, we almost sound like we know what we're talking about. But we really don't, folks. I'm choosing words at random, and if they line up, that's not my fault. They're also experts on various random pieces of pop culture, and they have no trouble sharing those as if they were sports statistics. That's right, 1981, the year of the movie Caveman with Katherine Bach, Shelley Long, John Matuzak, and Ringo Starr. A reference only you could make, Matt, here on Pistol Shrimps Radio. Bruce Springsteen once asked, hey, little girl, is your daddy home? And the daddy's home, if home is a basket, and the ball is a little wayward child, coming home for the first time because his parents forgot him at the Zodies. Matt, I think I'd argue that the most popular Far Side cartoon is the one with the kid entering the school for the gifted, pushing on a door that says pull. <laughs> not only do they not bother to learn about basketball before doing this, they usually don't even bother to learn the names of the players on the other teams. Or in one case, the name of a player on their own team. Mark, tell us about the new member of the Pistol Shrimps. Well, she's tall, she can ball, and that's not all. She's borrowing Molly Hucky's jersey tonight. So we don't even know her name. Let's throw out a couple of name options and see if we can land on one we like. Melissa Vandersnitch. How about Lie? Ranst. Han Mabuki. Han Mabuki it is, Matt. Han Mabuki. Eventually, they learned her real name is Ingrid Walla, but by then, even she had grown fond of the Huddy's nickname. Ingrid Walla is everyone's boogie. Yeah, if she, you don't have a boogie, you do now. She's, she's this country's boogie. They also don't know the names of any of the referees, but they're not going to let a little thing like that stop them from telling you the names of all the referees. Our referee is Leroy Hammersmith. That is not based in fact, pure conjecture. Referee Roy Samuelson. Probably not. Referee Stanch Moanwater making the call. Referee Biggie Biggie HH gonna get a skate skate. My name's a friendly guy. Hey! And referee Dan Miller having a conversation at half court. The podcast also doesn't have a corporate sponsor, but they'll still promote the hell out of all their non-existent corporate sponsors. This game brought to you by 7-Eleven. Don't eat the food. It's probably been on that weird turning oven device for too long. And don't sit on the furniture, because there isn't any. Pistol Shrimps Radio tonight brought to you by Carl's Jr., the only hamburger with a dad. Also brought to you by Pep Men. You remember them as boys, but now they're older. They've grown up, and they're coming home. And sometimes they don't bother to eat before recording, which can take the podcast to a very special place. Matt, with have you ever call. had a sandwich? Not as I can recall. Reason I'm asking, Matt, I'm starving and probably will need to eat lunch slash dinner after the game. I've got an old biscuit in my pocket if you'd like to fish it out. But sometimes this special place can become legitimately concerning, so the fans send in plenty of food. This sometimes makes things worse. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Someone's saying milk? That's just been sitting in the post office We were just box. talking about milk. And it's not only is it milk, but it's 100% real milk, full fat milk. That can't be good. Doesn't it need to be refrigerated at all times? It's milk. The duo was always quick to introduce unprepared and unprecedented segments at the drop of a hat and immediately commit to these segments as if they've been doing them all along. Well, it's time for Time Out Theater, where you name a movie and I perform it in under 20 seconds. Matt, I'm going to choose the film Tron. This looks like a video game. Uh-oh, I'm wearing a neon suit. Hey, big face, let's play Frisbee. It's time for free throw collections. Mark, give me $100. This has been a new segment we call Rock Catchphrase Speculation here on Pistol I don't Shrimps mean to Radio. correct you, but this is a new segment we call Can You Smell What Can You Smell What The Rock Is Cooking. Now it's time for you to introduce the new segment. W will you ever be different? One actual recurring segment is the Halftime Sock Report, where special guest Jensen Karp tells us what socks all the players are wearing. This segment has a surprisingly high-stakes running storyline that honestly could be its own separate podcast. It's time for the trademark Jensen Karp Halftime Sock Report. Jensen, good to see you. Good to see you. Did you guys not get my email about the name change? Oh, what? No, no I what? didn't get an I'm email. I'm going by Greg Escalante, so if you guys... It's Wait, just 
what some what precautions I'm doing just for now. What does this have to do with what you're involved in lately? I can't really talk about that, but I just would rather you guys just call me Greg. It's uh, Greg Escalante Soccer Player. All right, Mr. Ex Escalante. Thank you so much. Matt and Mark are two of the funniest people on earth, and their random riffing would be delightful no matter what they were sitting in front of. Mark, how's church going? It's real great, just praying it up real hard to the big guy. Sometimes I don't pray at home, I go what's in, called into the prayer office, and that's church. I like to mobile pray. That's right. Yeah. I kneel down at the pew and I say, hey, Mr. God, how about giving me a break? Just during my commute, I'll do a hands-free pray up, <laughs> and we'll just get one up there to the Lord man. That's right. But while this could easily be described as the sports podcast for people who don't like sports, it is in no way an anti-sports podcast. This isn't a bunch of nerds bashing on sports, because Matt and Mark make sure that the joke of their lack of sports acumen is always on themselves, never on the Pistol Shrimps players. I'm Mark McConville. I know about 40% of what I need to know about basketball. My name's Matt Gorley. I'm not sure what clothes I'm wearing. These guys love this team. I mean, yes, Matt's love for Amanda is especially clear to even the most casual listener. Amanda Fun Buns London in the action, and Matt turns his head from his goddamn measurements and takes you, a look at the basketball game. Of 20, course. This Kelly, is all for her. You were the star of the sock report tonight. I was. Thank you. You know, these socks are a gift from my boyfriend. What's his name, and should I like him? Matt Gorley. That sounds good to me. How did you feel? Uh, did you see my violent nosebleed? You got a nosebleed? I got a violent nosebleed. A little real drama here. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see that. We have you such a bad that. vantage point. We did not see Amanda's Amanda Lund's bloody, bloody the nose. Kinda, the tall blonde. I had no idea. Look, I've even lost my voice. <laughs> But the guys clearly care about all the ladies on the team, and the ladies are eager to play along with the guys' nonsense as well. Maria, what's your opinion on Zane leaving No Direction? Uh, I think it's, you know, he, he worked hard out there, he played really hard in, in One Direction, and, you know, he just, you know, he needed to let his team go, do something new, and, you know, he's, he's got to drive, drive the ball on his own. Matt and Mark's commitment to entertaining themselves, whether on topic or off, is what makes the podcast great, but their genuine respect for the Pistol Shrimps is what makes the podcast truly remarkable. Even though it's an amateur team, these guys are often in awe of the team's performance. Holy Whoa. shit, Jesse Thomas just hit and a shot. And look at the smile on her face, and by God, she deserves it. She is a national treasure. She just hit a shot from a screening of national treasure. That's right. That was that a was, seven that's point shot. how far shot. she was that away. That was a seven point shot. That's a point. That's Perfect. a point for the pistol shrimps. Perfect. That's, that's a red-blooded pistol shrimps point right there. And she doesn't even wait. She pops no. it up for another one. That girl is made of basketball confidence. She's like a gallon of sriracha. Red hot right now, Matt. You know what? She's the Meryl Streep of basketball. Just give her all the awards. Always dependable. This isn't an exercise in trivializing women's rec league basketball. This is a very silly and self-effacing expression of love. And as another act of love, Matt and Mark and their fans have raised over $3,000 for the basketball charity Peace Players International in honor of the shrimps. The absurdity of this whole affair is a delightful mask, but peeking out from under that mask is a genuinely heartfelt sincerity. Matt and Mark's apathy towards any knowledge of the sport is entertaining, but their excitement for the team is infectious. And so, thanks to this ridiculous, poorly researched, unqualified, inaccurate podcast, for the first time in my life, I found myself invested in a sports team. I don't care if it's an amateur team that just plays for fun and doesn't really take themselves that seriously. I want the shrimps to win forever. So if you need me, I'll be counting down the days until the next Women's Rec League season so I can root from my shrimps and laugh with my boogies. And until next time, dire straits. <laughs> <laughs>